Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Still impressive on the satellite. Still a large system. I mean, when you look at the clouds, it looks like it's bigger than the uh, Virginia and North Carolina put together, just looking at the cloud structure. So a very big system. We're having far-reaching effects. The heaviest and worst effects are definitely near the center and in North Carolina, other parts of North Carolina. And uh, we're getting some of those effects up here in Virginia, but on the edge. So here it is, Hurricane Florence. It, uh, let me uh, back that up real quick. So right now it's got winds of uh, 90 miles an hour, and it is not that far from the uh, Wilmington area. So there is the latest information. It's got pressure 955 millibars, moving west northwest at six miles per hour. So it's very close to land right now, and it might even be making landfall in the next hour. It's it, that close. The eye kind of spread out a little bit, and now it is for forecast to move to the west and then southwest as we go through the day. So a category one hurricane moving along the coast, causing more problems for areas west of Wilmington. And then it moves uh, inland, weakens in through Saturday, moves north on Sunday, moves northeast on Monday. And some of the moisture, the leftover moisture may bring us a better chance of rain on Monday. And then it, it uh, moves to the northeast states. The remnants of it moves in the northeast states on Wednesday. Now, here's the current situation. Super Doppler 10, we've got the center, again, pretty close to land, it looks like, but it's hard to make out exactly where the eye starts and stops. Not a sharp eye on radar. And then we're getting that heavy rain. It's close to Hatteras, but I think it's mostly to your west. Now, let's take a look at this. So, it, again, it's about 29 miles. The, the very center of this, about 29 miles to the east, southeast of Wilmington, but the uh, some of the edges of it almost to land. Now, we are getting some of these heavy rain bands over mainland Dare County, Mania Wanchis right now. That's moving off to the west, and we did have some warnings on this earlier, some tornado warnings just to the southwest of our viewing area. So let's just keep that in mind that there could be some isolated tornadoes in some of these rain bands coming in. Right now, we don't have any warnings, but we do have lots of showers around per, uh, Pasquotank County, Camden County, and that's moving off to the west. So we've got some more scattered showers over parts of Virginia Beach on the south end, or really all over Virginia Beach. We have some showers there. This goes over into Chesapeake, uh, goes all the way over to the Great Dismal Swamp, Portsmouth, Norfolk, scattered showers moving west, and it's going to be some squally weather. Quiet weather in Hampton right now, quiet in Matthews, but you got a few showers around Saluda. you got a few more showers up there on the north end of the eastern shore, so right around Chincoteague. So what to expect for today? We could see some gusts up to about 70 miles an hour today over the Outer Banks. Uh, in total, in total, I think we still could see rain about 5 to 9 inches. Uh, 10 inches might be a bit much, but 5 to 9. 4 to 7 foot storm surge, and then a 4 to 6 foot storm surge over the western Albemarle Sound. These winds today will still be strong, 25, 35 miles an hour, gust up to about 55. And then you've got the rain, 5 to 8 inches possible. Uh, could see higher amounts in some places, but I think uh, I'm starting to take that down a little bit. And over the south side, 2 to 5 inches of rain locally. Uh, could see maybe a little higher, but 25 to 35 miles an hour. Gusts up to about 40 and moderate tidal flooding this afternoon. That'll be in the early afternoon hours. And on the peninsulas, 2 to 5 inches. you got the winds gusting to about 40 miles an hour and some moderate to major tidal flooding. Eastern shore, 1 to 3, not that much. Probably even closer to 1 inch of rain and uh, minor tidal flooding. So much better conditions for the eastern shore northern neck because you're farther away from the storm. Okay, so that is the latest uh, we can expect, but let's talk a little more detail about the winds. And for help here, there's meteorologist Deidre Tate. All right, thanks, Jeremy. And here's a look at the winds right now. We have a gust of around 40 miles per hour around Edenton, but right now we have a wind gust of over 50 over towards Cape Hatteras with gusts near the uh, south side, more so around 30, 35 miles per hour. As far as the wind forecast, we're going to keep the winds today, generally speaking, between 20 and 30 miles per hour near the coastline. And then we're expecting the gusts to be up to about 40, possibly up to 45 miles per hour near the coast. As we head into our Saturday, still an orange shore wind coming out of the east and sometimes uh, north and east. And generally by Saturday, we're expecting the uh, winds to start to back down a bit as, of course, Florence then should be on shore and will continue to weaken. As far as the forecast in terms of rain, as we head towards midday, about a 30% coverage. So not much. We'll have passing showers through the morning. Morning. We're expecting a few more throughout the afternoon and into the evening. We could have a band or two that could linger a little while and bring some gusty conditions out there with some heavy downpours. And that will be as we work our way towards early evening time frame. As far as the tides today, we're expecting uh, the highest tide uh, to be with the afternoon high tide coming in about 1:30 at about 5.5 feet. That's moderate. And then as we work our way towards Saturday's tides and then into Sunday morning, we go down to more of the um, minor range. So again, today, early afternoon, we're expecting the highest levels and as we work our way towards midday for Corolla about six feet which is major expecting major for Fort 
Monroe and also for Mobject Bay as we head towards this afternoon's high tide time. Here's your seven day forecast. Conditions beginning to improve as we head into our weekend. However, for today, we're still expecting, expecting breezier conditions, more so windy with periods of rain.